sleep apnea horror stories. People need to start talking about this. I was literally tortured through this process. I was medically tortured. What prompts me to do this video today is uh, another gal was sick with uh, CPAP and struggling. She did a post and I responded. We have to start talking about all of this CPAP and, and how we're not necessarily getting the help we need. Um, this gal, she had sleep apnea she went, she had sleep apnea, went to get tested, and then, and the nurse educator is sitting them down to teach them how to use the machine. And she said, um, you were stopping breathing 38 times a minute. That's enough to give a person a heart attack or a stroke. I was stopping breathing 54 times a minute. I was fighting for my life, fighting to get care and help. And I was tortured. I'm in Canada and I'm starting to hear other stories, other horror stories. It took decades to get my, my sleep apnea diagnosed, literally decades. When my sleep apnea finally became, became life-threatening, I researched and read and, and had to figure it out on my own. And I had to figure out what sleep apnea was. And I had to beg and beg for help. I'll tell you what, what my experience is, and this is absolutely ridiculous. My sleep apnea became life-threatening in July 2018. I, it became so bad that I was waking up not breathing and I was getting out of bed to prompt my body to breathe, to get my body to breathe again. I was waking up not breathing. My body was in crisis. I was in medical crisis. I believe I was in respiratory failure. At home, not breathing, stopping breathing nonstop by myself. Trying to beg and fight for a diagnosis. So I had a new family doctor in July of 2018 who told me that they sent an urgent referral. I was fighting for my life. I waited and waited by my phone for two months for, for, the off, for the hospital to call. They never called. I finally called my family doctor's office and said, Where, where's, where's the referral? Why am I waiting and waiting? He said, I... I didn't send you an ur urgent referral. I said, did you send an urgent referral? He said, no. I said, why not? And he said, because I don't think you need it. I was fighting for my life. I, I believe I was in respiratory failure. I had to find another family doctor. I could barely walk. I could barely stand. I had to find another family doctor who sent a referral. That... So the referral was sent. I got an appointment in November of, of 2018. I'm sitting in front of the specialist. I finally get in and I think this is it. I'm going to get immediate help. It's November. I'm, I'm begging for my life. Let me give you back up a little bit. For a year already... A whole year, I was already sleeping one hour every 24 hours or two hours every 24 hours. I was awake 
22 or 23 hours a day for a year already. I was fighting for my life. I was half out of my mind, begging and fighting for my life. There was nowhere for me to go. So now I'm, fi I'm sitting in front of the specialist. L let me tell you, during that waiting time, I was walking up and down the streets of my neighborhood suicidal, trying not to suicide. I was awake 22 hours a day or 23 hours a day. Now I'm, I'm, I'm at, sitting in front of the specialist. I, I needed an advocate. I needed a medical advocate. They're, they will not provide you any medical advocacy in Canada. Now I'm sitting with the specialist and I think help is going to come. This is in November 2018. I am, you know, I'm I'm in fight or flight. I'm in a state of trauma. I'm in a state of terror. But I'm still articulate. I'm still, I'm still able to clearly say what I need to say. This doctor tells me, I don't think, I don't think you have sleep apnea. I don't, I said, I'm stopping breathing nonstop. He said, you're not stopping breathing nonstop. I said, I'm awake 23 or 22 hours a day. I'm sleeping only one or two hours a night. And he said, that's not happening. You're delusional. You have a perception problem. So this guy is uh, absolutely delusional that I'm delusional. I'm fighting for my life and there's nowhere for me to turn. I'm literally fighting for my life. I'm, I believe I was in respiratory failure. I had to wait till February. I'm talking nonstop suicidal. I had to wait till February to get into the hospital. The doctor was shocked. I was stopping breathing 54 times an hour. In, I'm in a state of extreme trauma. I'm in a state of medical crisis. I can barely stand. I can barely hold my body weight. I'm fighting to breathe. I should have had an advocate. They're trying to teach them, teach me the, how to use the machine. I'm crying. I'm 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 half out of it. I ha I slept an hour and a half. I slept one and a half hours. The doctor was shocked that he was a hundred percent wrong, and I was stopping breathing nonstop. It took decades for me to get to that point. I'll do it. Do a second video.